should he be failing math? Kitty, I'm sure he did the best he could for someone who was held too long as a baby. I bet that explains why he hit puberty so late, too. No, that was because of your mother smoking. Ladies, <clears throat> ladies' bodies. You know, I, I wish someone would rub lotion on my shoulders. I think they're getting a little red. Yeah, you should be careful. Looks like you're starting to scab. Oh, that's a burn about a burn. That's a second degree burn. Lori, try these banana walnut pancakes. Now you've always had a thing for nuts. Every man in town knows that. Why men? Oh, never mind. It's gotta sound familiar. Steven, if you keep doing that, it's gonna be really hard for me to pretend I don't know what you're talking about. Then I should go because it's just too easy. Like Lori. Michael, I need to talk to you. Yeah? About what? About our night together at the Molly Hatchet concert. Excuse me. Burn! 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 Burn. We totally did it! Michael, I just found out I'm pregnant. I never touched her! My world is over, man. Foreman, I know what you're thinking. Donna's gonna go to school, meet a whole bunch of people way cooler than you, and probably fall in love with someone else. And, and you don't think she will? Oh, I know she will. My advice to you is drink up. I can't believe she's just leaving, you know? Hasn't she heard a little something called sacrifice? You know, she sacrifices uh, an education or career or future of any kind. In exchange, she gets me. I'd make that trade. You're a dependable guy. We don't offer much in the way of uh, excitement, but if it's the same old, same old, the girl's after, look out. I never deserved her anyway. Well, we're here for you. Here you go. Dry your eyes. Thanks, you guys. I feel better. <laughs> I think we all do. All right, buddy, come on, let's get you to bed. Big boy, I tuck you in. <laughs> all right, sleep tight, buddy. What? what? <laughs> Happy birthday, dumbass. <laughs> Dana, we didn't get a chance to say goodbye. You guys get him drunk and make him wear a dress. Yes, but I've been wanting to do this for some time. Okay. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to throw an M&M into the woods in place of the ring. Wherever it lands, we'll search there first. Fez, give them the M&Ms, man. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Whose dumb idea was to let me hold the M&Ms? <laughs> All right. Instead of the candy, we will throw my keys into the woods. <laughs> oh, crap. I just threw my keys into the woods. Sure did. Why didn't somebody say something? 
so that you'd throw your keys into the woods. <laughs> oh, that's a good burn. <laughs> I had very little to do with it. Hey, um, Fez, I think I have something in my eye. <gasps> Is it Donna's engagement ring? <laughs> No, no, it's too big for that. Hey, maybe we should get some doctor's masks so we don't accidentally inhale Donna's ring. Uh, okay, okay, Donna, you thought the engagement ring was big enough, right? Burn! I didn't say anything. So say something. It could have been bigger. Burn! Rock, did you have the baby yet? Where? Fez? No, this is your baby. And I'm really ugly. Okay, I know this is a prank because there's no way my baby would be ugly. <laughs> Hello? Yes, is your refrigerator running? Because if it is, you better go catch it. Up bird! Stop calling me! Open up, it's Dr. Baby Doctor. I have your baby and he wants to talk to you. It's just me. I'm not a doctor. And I don't have your baby. A burn? That was a good one. Mr. Sexy's Pizza. <laughs> Our special today is Sexeroni. <laughs> well, it's like pepperoni, but sexy. <laughs> uh, you, you mean you want some? <laughs> um, we're close. <laughs> Trade in your used muffler. It's brilliant. <laughs> He's right. I am delighted and disgusted at the same time. It's just nice to finally feel that way when I'm not alone. Hey, uh, let me ask you guys a question about my dad. Shoot. How often are you supposed to talk to the man who impregnated your mom before she married the man you thought was your father? Um, I could check with some folks in Kentucky and get back to you. <laughs> I could give you the number of some first cousins who got married. Thanks, man. I don't really want to talk to your parents. Ah, oh, good burn. <laughs> okay, ice cream's finished. Bubble gum, I will save you for later. Guys, let's do this. Winterize your muffler. <laughs> you know, I almost hope you get arrested. I really want this on my record. <laughs> Yeah, what the hell is right? Who would do such an irresponsible and ironic thing? Certainly not anyone I would want to make out with. I mean the opposite of that. Okay, you gotta admit it, this one's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love wordplay. I get it. What's so funny about a moth? <laughs> Kitty. I mean, muffs aren't funny. I have a beautiful gray one that I have been using for years. For the love of God. Please. Just tell me what's so funny about my... Nothing. Nothing is funny. Exactly. I will have you know that my friend Linda just filled me in on some slang words that some people in my family find funny. And now I can never feel comfortable with my muff again. Mom. Don't laugh, mister. When you were a baby, I used to put you in it when you got out of the tub. Okay, this isn't funny anymore. Stop. Donna was right. I do need to start respecting women, so I decided to donate my entire Playboy collection to the needy. Here you go, Fizz. 
You're giving Fez a box full of nudie magazines? It's like giving a monkey a loaded gun. No, it's not. A monkey with a loaded gun can hurt a lot of people. I can only hurt myself. But a monkey with a loaded gun would be an awesome TV show. Everybody would be like, oh, don't worry, it's just a monkey, and then BAM! <laughs> okay, buddy. I think you're better off. Just hand the magazines over to me. Alright. Fess, <laughs> you're not letting go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you're, you're still holding on. Look, a robot! Man, you fall for that every time. Yeah? Well, one day, there's gonna be a robot. And all you suckers are gonna miss it. Yeah, maybe you just lost your mojo. Look, a guy can't just lose his mojo, okay? Kenny? Well, when was the last time you made out with two girls at once? Oh, that was... Oh, no. I can't remember. Kissed four different girls in the same day? I don't know! You guys, I might have lost my mojo. And I got it. I got your mojo. Which reminds me, I also have your yo-yo soon. I want them both back. Now, how can I lose a girl to you? You don't even speak English. Well, Kelsey, look at the bright side. Danielle is a wonderful girl who likes me better than you. Why is that the bright side? Because burn! Hello, Steven. Jackie? You want to talk? What would I have to say to you? I don't know. How about, um... I'm a crazy spoiled whack job, and I'm sorry. There's no way to talk to a woman. Yeah, especially a spoiled crazy whack job. I mean, she's liable to kill you. First freeze of winter, I'm spending the day ice fishing. Well, I'll come with you. Grab a fishing stick for me. <laughs> I don't want to go. What? Why not? Because I don't want you to go. Really, I mean, Kitty, you'd hate it. It's cold and boring. And we both know the only ice you like is in your cocktails. Nonsense. We're going ice fishing and we're gonna have fun and that's that. Excuse me. Hey, I'm back. Yeah. Um, where's Fess? Oh, I left him outside like we always do. <laughs> but I like how you made him come in and out just to make him think we weren't screwing with him. Burn! <laughs> Kelso, we're not trying to burn Fez. We're just trying to all watch the game together. Okay, this is Kelso you're talking to here. Right. Well, who's getting burned? Is it me? Because if it is, I'll just let it happen. No, no one's getting burned. Now go out and get Fez. All right, fine. I'll go get Fez and you can just surprise me. <laughs> you guys, I just had this brilliant idea. You know how every dirty word has a number? Instead of cursing, you could just say that number. Like, I could say, hide. Go three yourself. Hey, Angie, when Tom Jones gets here, you're not going to throw your underpants at him, are you? Michael, you know I don't wear underwear. Come on, man, you're my sister. I just told her to say that to gross you out. Burn! Yeah, you got me. Besides, I happen to know that she does wear underwear. Sometimes she lets me take them off for a boomerang burn! <laughs> ladies, ladies. I realize Tom Jones is late, and I have an announcement to make. Shut up! <laughs> Holy 
Holy crap! It's like a water buffalo convention. I'm not waiting two hours for a lousy autograph. Yes. You know what was awesome? The time you rode that tree. How did he ride a tree? Oh, he climbed it? Kelsey cut it down. You guys have a million stories. And you know each other so well, it's like you have your own language. I don't even understand half the things you say. If you understand anything that Fez says, you're the only one. <laughs> oh, Kelsey can't understand me. Now I know how it feels to be a book. A bird! Eric, can I have some fries? Yeah, help yourself. <laughs> yeah, um, I knew you were gonna do that, so I spit in him. Burn! <laughs> Look, if you wanna burn someone, you gotta embarrass them to make other people laugh. You wanna combine the elements of uh, humiliation and surprise. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> hey, could you zoom out a sec? Ooh, Jenny Keen. Partly slutty with a chance of severe sluttiness. <laughs> Angie, what the hell? Burn? There you have it, America, your first televised burn. You know, the scary thing is, if one year went by this fast, the man you Eric is gonna be in 10 years. Thanks for going with me to the Star Trek convention, Uhura. You can call me Donna now. Good, Fez. But I think it's gonna be more like this. Thanks for going with me to the Star Wars convention, Leia. You can call me Donna now. No, oh, man, you're both wrong. Actually, it's gonna go like this. Thanks for going with me to the Star Wars convention, Leia. You can call me mom now. Whoa. Eric, they're joking around. It's funny. No, Donna, it's not funny. In fact, it's completely possible. That better be Charlie. Mr. Foreman, is this your daughter? I don't know who did this to him, but they sure are clever. They put you in a dress, huh? Welcome to Point Place. So, until then, I need you guys to help me avoid the horse of seeing Steven so I can figure out a way to get out of here. Well, that's too bad, because I think I hear him coming down the stairs now. Oh, my God. Um, what do I do? Okay, um, quick, get down. Under the blanket. Okay. <laughs> He's not coming down, I made the whole thing up, and now you're under a sticky blanket! <laughs> the sticky blanket bird! That is awesome! Oh, that is disgusting! Oh, this blanket smells like dog. It's because when I found it, it was wrapped around a dead dog. <laughs> oh, uh-oh, Jackie. He's coming for real this time. Get down! both in the nads. Well, you're gonna have to do it later because here he comes now. Oh, well, now I don't believe you. Okay, then. Hey, come on in. Good to see you. Hi, what's going <laughs> on, buddy? <laughs> I hate you! Oh, man, we could do this all day. Uh, I got nowhere to be, man. <laughs> I know a huge secret. 
But don't bother to ask me because there's no way in hell I'm going to tell you. Because it's going to ask Jackie to marry him. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my God. I can't believe you can have been horse cut it out of me. <laughs> that is the dumbest thing Kelso said. Since his previous gem, I can eat an entire shirt. <laughs> this is so Michael. Although it is kind of sweet. And I don't really have anything going for me in my life. No job, no boyfriend. I don't have anything. Okay, Jackie, I know you're lonely, but you and Kelso getting married, that's insane. Well, I actually think it makes total sense. No, it doesn't. It makes no sense. Flippity flabbity flubbity makes more sense than that. What if it's fate? I mean, I have always thought of Michael as my soulmate. I mean, yes, we have our problems, but getting married will fix everything. And if that doesn't work, you can just have a kid. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I wonder when he's gonna ask me. Well, that is a secret at the performance party. <laughs> you bitches are relentless. Well, guess this is goodbye. Man, I'm gonna miss this. Like, being down here, I've had, like, the best time in my life. And you know what? No matter where I live, I will love you guys forever. Well, I guess it's time to go. So, see ya. Bye, Michael. Wow. He's really gone. My beautiful tormentor. <laughs> this sucks. I'm not leaving till tomorrow, and you are crying. <laughs> Burn! Oh, Stephen, there you are. I almost didn't recognize you without a disgusting stripper attached to your lips. <laughs> huh. Well, I recognized you right away, since you walked in here alone with no job and no boyfriend. <laughs> oh, this sounds like fun. <laughs> Someone say something mean about me. I don't think so, Fez. Oh, come on, you never let me play. <laughs> Fine, you're stupid and you're fat. That was completely uncalled for. Oh my God, Fez, there's a cop following us. Where? Don't look, he's pulling up next to us. Hurry, cover that clown with your body. Make it look like you're making out with it. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Kiss it, man. We can't get caught now. <laughs> hey, someone put their old gum in his mouth. I did that. <laughs> there is no cop, and you kissed the clown. Can't believe I got to turn base with a clown. Fez, there's nothing below his waist. I got a hold of something. You're gonna pay for the carpet, the floor, and my damaged ceiling. How am I supposed to find that kind of money? Well, you always seem to find money for those tacky, tight pants you wear. You wish your pants were tight. You wish your pants were loose. Two big legs. <gasps> Sausage thighs. Hey, get out! So, man, how'd it go? He thinks I like Randy. Can you believe that? Donna. Leo has never been right about anything in his life. Except for the fact that you're into Randy. What are you talking about? Hi, Randy. I like music. Do you like music, too? Shut up. Look at my butt. I made it just for you. You are so far off. Come on, man. You're in this store more than I am. You giggle at everything he says. You guys are like a bad carpenter song. What's this? Oh, that's my... Oh, crap. <laughs> A macrame owl? <laughs> what the hell kind of pansy ass thing is this? I do macrame. <laughs> it's my therapy. <laughs> well, I didn't realize you were so stressed out. But I think you'll feel a lot better once you get the sex change. <laughs> There's my therapy. So. Through there's the den, back there is the kitchen, and upstairs are the bedrooms. Could we see them? Oh, so my word's not good enough? 
Well, is there a bathroom upstairs? No. We just whiz off the roof. <laughs> and here you've got the stove and the fridge, both still under warranty. Oh, is this the kitchen? No, it's a petting zoo. There's the goat. Pony ride. Oh, there's the dumbass. And here I built a whole workbench against this wall, so there's plenty of space for all your tools. Actually, I was thinking I could turn it into a yoga studio. Really? And I was thinking I could turn your ass into my foot studio. Holy crap! <laughs> my car! Chucky ruined my car! And you don't have insurance. <laughs> Good one, Jackie. <laughs> and look what you run on the side. Face has a tiny... I do not! It's perfectly normal based on all the other ones I've seen. <laughs> I only look for comparison. <laughs> if Jackie wants war, I'll give her war. Whatever you say, Tiny. <laughs> if he's so small, why would I name it Big John? <laughs> anyway, Red has something he'd like to say to you. Go ahead. Bob... I'm sorry that I said your idea is stupid. And? And? <laughs> the next time you have a stupid idea, I'll just keep my mouth shut. You know what, Red? I really don't give a damn what you think. All these years I've had to put up with you cutting me down, calling me dumbass. Well, guess what? You're the dumbass. You're nothing but a cranky <laughs> who thinks his <laughs> don't stink. So you can blow it out your... What? 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 You want to hit me? Go ahead, you bull. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, do it. I'm not afraid of you. In fact, I'll kick your bony ass right now. <laughs> Bob, you've got some nerve. Good for you. It's a about time you stuck up for yourself and acted like a man. I'm sorry, Reddy. Just slipped out. <laughs> no, it's better. And she's turning the shower off. He's getting out. Looking himself in the mirror and... <laughs> Green Jackie. Guys, you completely ruined my hair. You destroy my car. I had every right to destroy your car. You turned me down. You turned me down a chameleon times and I never did anything. Actually, I remember a lot of crying. <laughs> yes, I cried because I have feelings. I like you, Jackie. Oh, ha, I have feelings. And they told me to buy bottle spray paint and tell the whole world that you have a title. It's normal, guys. <laughs> Speaking of hot chicks, what's going on with you and that uh, stripper wife of yours? Ooh, not good, man. She's gone. Apparently, she's not the sweet, innocent little girl she pretends to be at the start of her act. <laughs> That's bad news. I totally would have done it with her. Oh, man, I, that was right on the bone. My arm's all tingly. Just like your wife would have been if I would have done it with her. <laughs> oh, that's, that's too, oh, I missed this. Moron. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, ah, please. <laughs> oh. Remember that time you shot me with the BB gun? I still had the BB stuck underneath my skin. I like to play with it sometimes when I get bored. Just like I would have done with your wife. Awesome, my tooth is loose. Man.